Early Tuesday morning, Muslims in northwest China's Ningxia Hui Autonomous Region donned festive clothing and headed to mosques to hear imams preach. The ceremony is one of the most important annual prayer ceremonies for Muslims. There are about 14,000 Muslims who came to the mosque for the prayer ceremony. They are not only natives, but also those from across the region. There are even Muslims from Arab countries and the United States. This is the end of Ramadan, and I'm very happy. I'll visit my relatives after the ceremony. During Ramadan, the ninth month of the year in the Muslim calendar, religious followers abstain from eating, drinking, smoking, and sex from sunrise to sunset to show their devotion to their faith. But children, elderly, and sick people do not have to observe the fast. Eid al-Fitr is also called the Sugar Feast, or the Sweet Festival. Along the streets outside mosques, Muslims prepare traditional delicacies, including fried sweets, nuts, fresh fruit, bread, and freshly butchered sheep. We prepared some traditional food, such as sansi and fried sticks, to celebrate this year's fasting month. We made them by ourselves. We prepared at least two weeks before the holiday. A dozen of us Muslims did it together. In Ningxia, authorities have extended the public holiday to five days to allow Muslims to have more time to attend religious rituals and visit relatives. Many scenic spots in the region will be open to Muslims for free or offer discounts. We have plenty of time to celebrate our own festival due to the holiday. During the five days, we will visit relatives and friends and share delicacies. I'm usually too busy working to visit them. Fortunately, we can have a family reunion during the holiday. China has 20 million Muslims. About half of them are from the Hui ethnic group. Known as China's largest Muslim community, there are more than 2.25 million Hui in Ningxia, or 36% of the region's total population. The festival was also observed in other Muslim-populated areas in China.